O our wonderful Father, who art in heaven, Lord, we thank you for this wonderful day and this opportunity, Lord, to come before you once again, Lord, to lay everything down, and Lord, to open our minds, our hearts, and our spirits to the revelation of your word. We're reading through Ephesians 3. The mystery of the gospel is revealed. It reads, For this reason, I, Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, on behalf of you Gentiles, assuming that you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for you, how the mystery was made known to me by revelation, as I've written briefly. When you read this, you can perceive my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to the sons of men in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. This mystery is that the Gentiles are fellow heirs, members of the same body, and partakers of the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Lord, we thank you that this morning, Lord your God, you are reminding us, Lord, once again, Lord, that it was by your Spirit, Lord, that many things are revealed. It's by the Holy Spirit that revelation comes. And so, Lord, we pray for a specific outpouring of your Holy Spirit today. Lord, we pray that even though we may have received your Holy Spirit, Lord, we know that you can baptise us afresh with a new infilling of your Holy Spirit. And Lord, we call for that today. Lord, just like in Acts, Lord, when they were in the upper room waiting for you, days and days and days waiting for you, waiting for your presence, Lord, then you came through in full measure, in full power. And Lord, today we're asking for that. We're asking for that same full measure and full power of your Holy Spirit to illuminate what we've just read and to help us have that deep in our spirit. Lord, you say here and you remind us through your Apostle Paul that, Lord God, we are sons. We're sons and daughters, Lord, who have been brought in, who have been called in to this great mystery. Lord, that we are members of the same body, partakers of the promise in Christ Jesus. It means, Lord, that we have access to you, Lord. Lord, we are inheritors. We have inherited everything that you've given us. Lord, we understand that as you explain that the Jewish people were the ones who originally had the law, they were the ones who originally had access to you. And Lord, we did not have the law. We who were Gentiles did not have the law. But Lord, you've given us that access now by abolishing the law and grafting in your Gentiles, giving us all access. So Lord, we have now joined, Lord, just like the Jewish people, Lord, we've all joined together for all those who accept you, Lord, for all those who understand and believe that you are Lord. We have all been grafted into the same promise, Lord, and we are members of the same body and partakers of the promise. Lord, to partake means that we're supposed to enjoy. We're supposed to benefit from. We're supposed to embrace and enjoy what you've given us. So, Lord, help us to do that today. Help us to really have that deep in our hearts, Lord, that we are all one people. That, yes, Lord, the Jewish people were your chosen people from the beginning, Lord God, but you've also grafted in every single other person in the whole of humanity, every single other person everywhere else in every culture and every grouping, Lord, now has the same access to you. And so, Lord, we pray that today for all those, again, who are lost, who don't know you, who have rejected you, Jews and Gentiles, Lord, that you would open their eyes you would tear off the scales, you would unify us in the spirit, you would give them the revelation of who you are, and Lord, we all would be united. Not only united in our kindness and in our mercy, but Lord, we'd be united in our our shared vision of helping your gospel spread throughout the earth. That's what you've called us to do. As Christians, you've called us to spread your gospel and to make it known that you, Lord Jesus, are Christ. You are the... Lord, that we've been waiting for, Lord God. Lord, you are the way back to heaven. Lord, you are the way to eternity. So, Lord, thank you. Thank you for all you've done for us. Thank you for this revelation. Thank you, Lord, that we understand 
Thank you, Lord, that it says here that as Paul writes, that it's by the Spirit that this mystery was made known. Lord, what other mysteries are in our lives? Lord, would you reveal them by the Spirit, Lord God? Things we don't know, things we don't even know about ourselves, about our generations, about our environment. Lord, would you reveal them by the Spirit? Lord, would every dark thing come to light? Would every hidden thing come to light? Lord, you said the truth will set us free. Lord, would you enable the truth to set us free today? Would you open up the eyes of our understanding, Lord? And would you help us to embrace your people, all your people, and to pray that all will come to a saving knowledge of who you are. In Jesus Christ, I've prayed. In Jesus' name, amen.